Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, this is my vintage tag review. Um, so I guess I'll get started. I'm going to try to make it quick because every time I record my video, it's too long and I don't know how to edit, so YouTube keeps rejecting my videos and I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> um, I guess I will start with question number one. Who is your style icon? My style icon is Rita Hayworth. I absolutely love her. She's my idol. Um, she was so beautiful. I loved her red hair to bits. Um, her sex appeal and her dancing were so... I, in my eyes, no one can top Rita. <laughs> um, I did a photo shoot a few years ago of me as Rita Hayworth. I picked about three photos that were my favorites of her and we recreated them. And when I first did it, I did not realize how hard it is to imitate someone's facial expressions and poses, but they came out really good. So I will put the link to my blog on the bottom after the video so if you want to check out the photos you can. Um, so question number two is what's your favorite way to get inspired? Um, normally it's probably through Turner Classic Movies watching those, those wonderful movies of everyone. Um, if I'm drooling over outfits on a movie I will take a piece of paper and I will try to sketch out the outfits that the girls are wearing because I want to recreate them. I'll buy patterns and hope to sew my own that look just like those when I get some time. Right now I don't have a room to set up for sewing and um, but definitely the photos of the hairstyles, I mean the hairstyles there is nothing like them. There's so many different styles with all the curls and I mean you can't even I can't even begin to start like it's amazing. Um, and it has become my lifestyle to dress this way all the time and I really love doing it. Um, uh, number three, what's your most used hair tool? Um, it used to be my curling iron, but it's starting to get old and it shorts out a lot. And so now my favorite tool at the moment are my hot sticks and my little leopard print roller rag rollers that I've just started using again. Um, Number four, what's your favorite hair tool or gadget? I think I just answered that, so I guess I can just do my um, styling products that I like. Um, I love to use the hot, hot, hot um, curler uh, thermal spray. It works just like a setting lotion and a heat protecting um, product, and this is amazing stuff. You can get it at Sally's. <laughs> Um, my Diamond Shine Mousse from Sally's. I love this stuff. I use this more than anything. Um, and then my hairspray for after to do, to set it in place. Um, number five, up, do, down, or half and half. It's most of the time probably going to be either down or half and half because <laughs> I have a long neck and I get self-conscious that it's too long, so I try to cover it a little bit. Um, number six, is vintage styling something you do daily? Yes. Um, I try to do it daily. Um, where I work, it's kind of hard because we wear jeans, but we sell different t-shirts with different sayings and silly stuff on them and since I have to wear those I, it's hard to dress for work like this because it, 
it kind of looks funny <laughs> with the silly shirts. So I try to at least keep my hair somewhat styled where I don't feel uncomfortable and I'm still myself. Um, and number seven, what's your favorite blush or lipstick? Right now, this red lipstick's my favorite. It's by Avon. When I first started using it, I didn't like it because it's really glossy and it bleeds really bad. So I've learned to work with those kinks. So the color is Red 2000 Ultra Color Rich and it's a beautiful red color. But I have to wear a lip liner with it. And it's Jordana's Easy Liner for Lips. It's a retractable lip liner. I think I got this at Sally's, but I can't remember. <laughs> And for my blush, I use, this is by Avon, I don't normally, I have so much different brands, I don't normally wear Avon like I used to, but this one's Exotic Plum, and it's a blush, I've had it forever, but I wear blush a lot more than I used to now, and I just love this color. Um, number eight, let's talk fashion, dress, skirt, or pants. I love skirts and dresses, but I'm I'm really skinny, like I think myself olive oil skinny, so I get self-conscious about my skinny legs, so if I wear a skirt or a dress, I have to have it at least a little bit below my knees, because I have what I call mommy knees, and I don't like for my knees to show either, so if I don't wear the skirt or dress, that's going to be high-waisted pants or high-waisted jeans, and that's probably what I'm going to be wearing mostly because I get, I feel more comfortable. I hate when I go out and I'm wearing a dress and I get out and then I start second-guessing my outfit and I'm like feeling uncomfortable, so that's, I'm always like that. <laughs> um, number nine, homemade or off the rack? I guess this is for clothing. I would love to have homemade clothing, like, but I don't have a room set up for sewing or, well, enough space for, to do that. I have loads of pattern, vintage patterns, but they're just poor things are sitting there collecting dust. Um, so I try, when I am shopping, try to find things that are, are as close to the vintage style as I can get, and I go to thrift stores and antique stores that may sell vintage clothing. I do whatever I can to keep it authentic. Um, number 10, do you swing dance? I used to swing dance. Um, but where I'm living now, they, there's no scene at all. There's nothing apart from, they do shag dancing here, which is similar to the jive, probably a little bit faster. And if you've ever seen the movie, The Shag, really highly recommend it. It's how um, the shag dancing got started in this area. And it's set in the late, late 50s, early 60s. and the outfits and everything are beautiful so I recommend to go see that or try to find the DVD or something um, but I would hope to go back to if there was a place to do the swing dancing I would definitely love it <laughs> um, a lip, uh, number 11 small subtle touches or every, for every day or extreme I don't like to do extreme not anymore. <laughs> um, I like to keep it simple. Um, my plain red hair and just um, earrings and just look more natural. I didn't even put eyeliner on today. <laughs> um, number 12, favorite perfume or skincare? I use Oil of Olay face wash. I use, I use Queen Helene's pomegranate facial scrub and a cold
cold cream first and then see breeze labs. I, I mix some different things, which I know a lot of people are probably going, oh my gosh, you're not freaking out, but I guess I shouldn't stop using things that work for me. <laughs> um, number 13, what does the rest of the family think of your style? My mom likes it. My kids think I'm crazy. I should be living in 2012 and not 1940, but <laughs> I just tell them, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, my dad, he thinks I'm always going out somewhere. And my husband, he loves it, but he's in the rockabilly too, so of course he's going to love it. <laughs> he better anyway. Um, number 14, favorite accessory. Um, I don't really have any favorites. I wear hair flowers or snoods depending on how I've done my hair. But I normally just wear earrings, my grandmother's ring, my wedding band and engagement ring, and my, my um, other grandmother's bracelet. Um, number 15, do you find the vintage community warm and inviting or cliquish? I've seen clickish and snooty, but I try not to surround myself with people that are going to act like that. I think it depends where you're at and who you surround yourself with. In England, it seems like everyone I've met, I, it's almost like I've known them my whole life. They're real friendly and um, just fun to be around. And I go to Viva Las Vegas with my husband every year. We try to and so far, my experience has been really good, and everyone's been really friendly. Um, and I live in South Carolina, so right now, the area I live in, which is about an hour and a half from Charleston, um, there's no scene here, so I'm pretty much stuck by myself. Um, number 16 is the last question. What drew you to this style? I would say my grandmother. Um, I lived in Germany until I was eight years old because my dad was in the army and we came back when we were waiting on base housing. My, we stayed with my grandmother and she loved to dance and things and she would play the Andrews sisters a lot. And I remember looking at the album cover and being completely amazed by how beautiful their hairstyles were. The big victory rolls and the curls and the waves and I just... I was so attracted to that, and then watching movies of Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire, they always stuck in my mind. I didn't get into the style till later in life, probably like the 90s, and back then that was like 1978, early 80s. So, so the styles were going completely punk and things like that, so I didn't get into this till later in life, but I'm glad that I have, even though it's taken that long. <laughs> Those pictures in the, my mind from back then stuck with me, and I'm glad that I'm doing it to this day, bringing back, like the rest, a lot of us girls are doing, bringing back a style that seems to have been lost. It seemed like in the 60s they just stopped women seem to stop dressing up and having, I don't want to say, I try not to sound rude, <laughs> but I like how this style makes you appreciate being a woman and make you feel like a woman, and I just love everything about that. So I try to keep it in my everyday life. That's, that's my uh, vintage tag. <laughs> God, I can't talk. I'm getting tired. <laughs> um, so I will post the link to my blog if anyone wants to see my Rita Hayworth photos. And I'm enjoying watching everyone's video tags. So I suggest you do one for yourself so we can all watch. And have a good night. Bye.